<laughs> What's what? What do you mean real planes? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Blah, 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 blah. What are you talking about real planes? I've been making real planes for a while now. Look at it. Look at this one. See? It's it's got whatever. But that's kind of a real plane. And then we got the small little cute little plane. Look at this plane. Oh, he's so cute. And it's got the little blues and the whites and it's just so adorable and it can move around and stuff. And it's called Anna. So nice. This is this little private passenger plane. So we've already had planes, real planes. So this one was from last night's stream. Of course, it had jet engines on it, but um, I, I tried to work on it a little bit. Low thrust ratio orbiter, the 100 X series. It did not make it all the way. We had some jet engines on it too. So it was a more of a suborbital hop, okay? But it landed nicely and it took off nicely. Then last night, well, while, while you were asleep, I built the 150. Now the 150, oh, well, that's an old one. <laughs> the 150 is a little different. This thing, I was trying to be, I was trying to be kind of like, I was testing out between engines, right? And this thing didn't get into orbit either, but it only had one little um, crew cabin. And I'm thinking to myself, this is new technology we're dealing with. It has to do, it has to be able to put the payload up there, the same amount of payload, but with less fuel and be smaller. That's how technology works. Things get better and they shrink in size. This is how this works, except for programs, of course. Programs, when they get better, they just grow in size. <laughs> we're not talking about that. <coughs> anyway, so... Hardware, yes, hardware shrinks in size. Software might get a little bigger, but that's that. Um, hardware. Now, I tried this. It does not work, okay? And I think I know why. But anyway, I went ahead and did a new one, the LTO 200, okay? And this one, I made, I gave it two crew cabins, and it almost works. It almost works. It uses the swivel, which is very good for vacuum ISP, but it just didn't quite get there all right and so what i did was i switched out the engines for a pair of the most original engines that we started off the game with believe it or not the reliant the reliant this thing can get into orbit with about 100 meters per second left over granted it's not the greatest amount of of uh meters per second but this is the first ship ever to have rcs capability and only need two engines to get the same amount of Kerbals up into space with docking capability. Now, everyone, I know that the Reliance aren't great when it comes to vacuum ISP. They actually suck. However, I have learned through multiple flights and multiple testings that meters per second Delta V to spare in comparison to its other counterpart, the Swivel. And I, I, I know why is because is because of the atmosphere. Pushing through the atmosphere sucks up a lot of fuel. And if you don't have an engine that can work very well in that atmosphere while you're flying, you can drain the tank enough to where you don't have anything left by the time you get up into space. It's one of the reasons why the Orion, was it Orion? Yes. Why the Orion types have both of the Reliant engines to get it through the atmosphere and then the swivel engines to help it with actual space travel. Interestingly enough. Now, you can see that this this, this, this Orion has the same two crew cabin so it can, uh, it can haul five Kerbals up into space. You see how big it is, right? It's because of the fact that it has to launch vertically. So it's got to have a lot of fuel and a lot of ability to be able to launch itself vertically because it doesn't have any, doesn't have any uh, gears it lands in the water so with this prototype it's much much smaller now so it's it's tighter and it can get up there and it has better maneuverability as well as when it comes to rcs full power and go tested it with a full capacity let's check it out boom yeah it looks like we're gonna go into the water nice little landing 
Easy does it. Easy does it. Whoa, hey, what are you diving for? Gonna store this pattern. Easy. Come over here. And open GUI. And then... Kapow! There we go. Very nice, very nice. Oh, so nice. Kapow! Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, sorry. Kapow, yeah. Go, ECF. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. Go lay safety officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. Go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, get some flight. There we go. Easy. Boy, she's touching. Ooh, she's touching. Wow, damn near 500 meters per second Delta V left over. Son of a, that's a lot of freaking Delta V, man. She's shimmying a little bit, that's interesting. A little bit of shimmy, that's very interesting. Maybe it's this thing. Nope, that does not do sh okay. But then again, it was meant to land in the water. We're not quite lined up, but we're as lined up as we're gonna freaking get. baby oh man my heart's pitter patter pitter patter easy does it 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 little off are we okay are we okay are we okay brakes on <laughs> okay. What did we call this thing again? It was it was built it was built ahead of its time. It was built ahead of its time. There it is. The Dudfield. Okay. So the Dudfield was built way ahead of its time and couldn't really get the numbers that I wanted simply because we didn't have the ability, we didn't have the ability to uh, land it with, with, because we didn't have any landing gears. I don't check my email very often, I'm sorry. There's like almost a hundred different emails right now from not only YouTube, but like fans of the channel. I try to read them when I can, but one of them had someone that gave me a flag for the Dudfield class. And I wanna go ahead and see if I can put that on here. Like I said, it's a little pixelated, but look what they did. The spirit of uh, Dudfield. And it's some sort of thing right there. Uh, however, the, I don't, I, I can't, I don't know what that says, but. Oh man, I do not feel good. My stomach does not like this at all. I think we I think we should really wait for tomorrow. It's kind of it's it's already showing signs of problems. The friction is off. Ah, I need to go back and fix the friction. One of these days, I don't know. I know KSA is coming out soon, so maybe that'll be my big leap. Who knows? Maybe I start playing KSA and I and and it just just take to it like like fish in water and just disappear into it and KS, KSP1 will will be like one of those maybe once a week kind of streams. And we'll just be doing KSA for the rest of the world. Well, we don't know. We'll see what will happen. But uh, yeah, I would I would love nothing more than to make it big on YouTube. But I'm just absolutely thrilled and humbled by the fact that you guys are here right now. It's, it's amazing. 90 some odd people. We're averaging about 90 some odd people now. It was at 100 at one point, but it went back down. I think maybe that was just because... Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't get me lying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Again, we have a membership program if you want to become a member. Cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. But I will see you all later. 
Love you all. Night, night. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Au revoir.